I'm here with Johnny, and we're here to talk about the, the, the absolute beast of machine right here. But first of all, this Weiler, you guys have made this is the first lathe of its kind, and it's not it's not semi-automatic, it's not semi CNC. I'm not quite sure what it is. What is it, and why um, why have you it's a, why how come you guys were able to make it the first of its kind? We were I refer to it as a full CNC with a conversational ease of use control, intuitive for a manual machinist, but I also say it has the ease of use of a manual lathe. It was created to be a very good complement to a manual lathe. The benefit of it is, is whenever you want to make a part, when you can't afford to make the part wrong, when you need to make that first part right. We have customers that are running $60,000 components that have a lot of gun drill holes, all sorts of details, and then they run a lot of their lathe work on the machine. You can't scrap 200 hours worth of work on the 201st hour. So these machines, because of the accuracy, the build uh, reliability of, and from a machinist standpoint that I know where I move, I'm going to be on the money. That's where we, we fit in. As a machinist, I want to be engaged whether I'm making a small component or a large component, but this platform allows me that. This is not yeah. just like a, a little bog standard it's kind Siemens of extra. It's a Siemens 840D in the background. All the drives, every motors are Siemens, and we have uh, you know, a, a interface that makes it user friendly for a manual machinist. So it's very intuitive. So we're not having to recreate things. Um, I have different what Weiler will call cycles, uh, but I can set up and say I want to do a um, a detail, and I just want to go turn an OD. I can tell it how I want to cut it. My speeds, feeds. I can run surface footage. All of the uh, you know, set my feed rates. And you don't and have then, to worry about G code and any of these. You can draw the contour yeah, and just I set draw it. Go the contour and say I want to cut in this perp in this example, which I know it's hard to see. I want to cut an eight inch diameter. I want to add a sixty thousand radius here in the front. I've got all of my tools right here just to draw it, just like any other CAD CAM system. Very easy, very quick. I have that created. I can do a simulation, and here I can see that I had two cuts. I can see a time, and I can also say, okay, I had a 250 thousandths per side cut. So if I want to make it in one cut, I can move it up to 350 thousandths per side. On this machine, I can cut close to that with no problem at all and not have any kind of issue with my uh, speed uh, my speed monitor here or my power monitor. Absolutely. It's amazing. It's kind of got the best, the best of both worlds from the manual world and the CNC world, but you can get cutting straight away. We are very prominent in all of the non-mag materials or non-magnetic materials like the ink canal, stainless steels, the harder to cut materials. Where we separate ourselves is being able to do deep boring on very hard metals and be able to do uh, you know threads that have been down hole and at least in my experience where they need to be recut and they may be hardened in areas where they were torqued down and I can uh, move my RPM up and down as a thread so there's a lot of features that make that uh, that make us valuable in those industries.